Well, Alex, congratulations. Big sweep at home uh, in front of this crowd. Uh, how does it feel to get six points out of a possible six points on the weekend? Thank you. And, uh, yeah, it feels great. I mean, that's obviously the goal going into every weekend. And I think it really started uh, beginning of the week. We really strung together some good practices. And uh, heading into the weekend, we felt confident. And that was probably our most com complete weekend of the year. So we're feeling good, but can't be satisfied. We've got to keep going. Yeah, your second career shutout as well, first of the year. Does it give you a lot of confidence moving forward, knowing that you can do that and the guys that played in front of you as well? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it always helps uh, for the confidence. But, I mean, it was all my teammates tonight. I mean, in that second period, I think I had two or three shots alone. And then the amount of block shots that, that they had from, you know, Grega, Carabas, and guys stepping up, like Bellini, Power, and then Rance, like how we played last night. Like, it was just a complete weekend for, from everybody. And it's, uh, it's inspiring to see. So we just got to keep it, keep it going moving forward. You guys have had several wins this year where you only surrendered one goal, but not that first team shutout yet. Is that something that, you know, as a group, when you finally do get that first one, you blank a team, it, it's a it's a nice feeling, it's just a, a completeness to it maybe? Yeah, definitely. I think we uh, we pride ourselves on on playing to a standard at all at all times, no matter what the what the score says. And uh, Coach really harped on it in the locker room about playing for the zero. And, I mean, it's not – not solely just for, for the goalie's sake at all, but it's a, more so a, a mindset that no matter what the score is, the time, like what whatever the scoreboard says, we got to play to to a standard, and defense is a mindset, and I think everyone uh, really bought into that tonight. And like I said, with the block shots and how we played defensively, and this time of the year, especially in the second half going into the playoffs, you gotta you got to have that mindset. Offensively, I think – a lot of times, you know, dirty goals are what win games, but tonight you got to see your teammates get some pretty ones with, with some really nice passing. Um, how fun is it to, to watch that and how impressive were some of those goals tonight? Yeah, it's it's so much fun watching. I mean, it was, they were due, too. I think uh, a couple of games, like in the past, especially uh, in the first half, and we're, we're, we're a skilled group. We know that we could put the, put the puck in the net, and I think some of the bounces just weren't going our way, whether it was good goaltending or, you know, just a missing by, by a little bit. It was, so to see it pay off tonight and some guys cash in, like Groller, Eyes, like the way that they played this weekend, Bolson, like, I mean, Wilson, I can I can go up and down the lineup. Everyone was contributing. So it was really nice to see the, their, their skill set come out to play. We've seen a lot of stre large stretches of games recently where I, I felt like you guys were really taking it to opponents, but then there'd be maybe a period or a, st a stretch where, you know, there's some lapses. Mm -hmm. But this was a complete game tonight. Do do you feel like it would it was building toward a performance like this just based on you know the large stretches you have been kind of dominating lately? Yeah, definitely. I think so. I mean, every part of a game. I mean, you're expecting to have ups and downs. I mean, the goal is to just obviously have more ups and downs and stay on your plan the longest. And I think uh, this weekend we just really we really just focus on us and and what we can do. And obviously, you saw it out there with the uh, like dominating the O zone and dominating the shots on goal. So I mean, it. Uh, it was great to see, and we just got to keep it going. Playing with leads is hard, and it was something you guys did struggle with at times in the mm -hmm. first half. Was it encouraging this weekend the way you guys were able to finish two games that you had, you know, leads in, and and you know you never you never mm -hmm. obviously trailed the entire weekend. Yeah, definitely, it's it's crucial, especially going into into playoff time and second half of the year when every point matters, um, and like playing with a lead, like we got you got to learn how to do it, and I think. I think this weekend everyone was playing for each other. You know, I don't think there was, uh, I don't think there was a selfish bone in anybody uh, this week, and I think that it really showed up on on the scoreboard out there. In goal, you've got kind of this rotation going with with you and Rance. You know, taking mm -hmm. one night each weekend. Um, I know that's something you guys have have done before, but uh, is it a nice rhythm that? you guys have going right now and, and do you do you like the way that uh, you're both complimenting each other you know right now yeah of course I think it's it's so beneficial I think like just just the entire team that you have two guys that you can can rely on like when when they're in net and especially with the way that Rance has been playing like coming back from surgery this uh this offseason to be playing as well as he's playing it's it's been inspiring me to to amp up my play and you know to 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 play harder and for him and it's uh it's definitely going to be something that we keep doing going forward, and I think it's going to it's going to help us in the long run. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Thanks, Alex. Thank you. Appreciate you.